How's it everybody? I hope you're all well. You are most likely writing your English paper 2 tomorrow. Or maybe you're watching this in the morning and you're about to write it. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Uh, please pause the video and have a read through the extract on your own. I, I'm trying to make the videos as short and sweet as possible. It is coming from chapter 41. It is coming from part 2. So 9.1, refer to lines 1 to 2. So these two lines here. Richard Parker kept out of sight. Explain Richard Parker's presence on the lifeboat. How exactly did he get there? So nice little question to start things off. So after finding himself on the lifeboat, so Pi actually spots Richard Parker in the water. Okay, so initially Pi spots Richard Parker in the water and being pleased to see a rather familiar figure and out of concern for the tiger's safety, Pi helps the tiger onto the boat. And Richard Parker prefers to hide himself away because he finds himself in rather unfamiliar territory and is feeling seasick. So he hides himself away and he also feels a little bit seasick. So just account for him being there. Lines 4, 5, 6, 7. Refer to lines 4 to 7. <laughs> I, just, I just felt like saying that. Yeah, I know. I'm such a child. Uh, what do these lines suggest about Pi's state of mind as the ship sinks? So... Um, 9.2, just have a look here. So he feels some level of despair and hopelessness as well as the ship sinks. And a sense of Pi's distress and vulnerability is reinforced by the description of the waves. The waves here are described as marauding. Okay, so we're just lifting that, you know, just to further describe what we think. Now, the, the, the phrase flotsam and tragedy, it suggests that Pi feels broken and his desolate and very much... He, he feels alone and at the mercy of the elements. And the finality of the lights being extinguished from the Tim Tam, uh, this places a lot of emphasis on Pi's despondency here. So the, big, the bleakness of the description is a reflection of Pi's state of mind. In 9.3 lines 20 to 21, so we're here. Comment on the significance of the hyena in the context of the novel as a whole. So we got to go better story um, versus, well, the other story. So... In both stories, actually, the hyena slash the French cook is portrayed as unpredictable, greedy, cunning, vicious. Okay, so all those ugly, ugly words. Okay, hyenas in general, um, they don't have the best things known about them. So unpredictable, greedy, cunning, vicious. So as scavengers, hyenas prey on those who are perceived as weaker, but are cowardly and afraid of confronting a more powerful adversary. Now, in the same way, the French cook is cowardly and viciously attacks the injured sailor. The hyena is a reminder of the savagery of which humans are capable of when survival is at stake. 9.4. So, let me just answer it here. In light of the novel as a whole, critically discuss how Pi's knowledge of animals ensures his survival on the lifeboat. So, you gotta give like a proper answer here. So, Pi's early years are spent at his father's zoo, where he's able to observe animals at rather close quarters. And his interests in science and zoomorphism, they give him detailed knowledge of animal behavior. And <clears throat> without this knowledge, Excuse me, um, Pi would not have known how to tame the tiger Richard Parker and predict how the animals would respond on the lifeboat. And his father's lesson in the danger of anthropomorphizing animals, like seeing them as humans, that is also instrumental in his survival when he literally sees in his youth a tiger absolutely, well, you know, devour a goat. And in addition, the knowledge gained from the survival manual about which sea creatures are edible, um, that also ensures his survival. So just mentioning the zoo here would be of, of paramount importance. Uh, and again, his interests in the sciences and that lesson that his father taught him. And again, his just knowledge of the sea as well that he was able to gain from that survival manual. So yeah, anything along these lines would have scored you guys the marks.